It's a catchy tune they're playing. What is she doing in here? She's just a little girl. Hello there. Hi. What's your name, kiddo? Maggie. What's yours? I'm Amy. How old are you, Maggie? Seven. That's kind of young to be in a place like this. Mommy brought me here. She's been coughing and tried to get better. Then I started coughing too. She says that if I pray to the Reaper, I won't hurt anymore. When did you start living here with the other cult, um, uh, the other worshippers? About two weeks ago, after Daddy died. Mommy and I were really sad, but one day she went out to the market, and when she came back, she said she'd found a way for us to be with him again. So we came here and met all these nice people. Sometimes I still feel sad, but they help me feel happy again. Have a good day. May the reaper take you. He's just sitting around minding his own business. Hi there, I'm Amy. Reaper bless our meeting. I'm Norman. Pleasure. So, what made you decide to follow the Reaper? Well, as you probably noticed, I'm no spring chicken. I lost my wife on blast day. My children both died of green lung this year. I'm so sorry to hear that. Why would you say that? There was much suffering in their lives. Yes, I was sad that they left this world so early. But the Reaper tells us true. There is a better world beyond this one. To grieve for them when they are in the promised land, it makes no sense. I'll see you later, Norman. May death come for you swiftly, Amy. Excuse me? Yes? Are you the leader of the Reaper cult? Indeed. My name is Jess. Welcome. I'd prefer it if you didn't use such a pejorative word to describe us, though. We're the Acolytes of the Reaper. Please address us by that name, if you would. Of course. I'm sorry. My name is Amy, by the way. A pleasure, Amy. May you find the peace you seek here. Can you tell me about the Reaper? Of course. Was there anything in particular you wanted to know? Who is he? He is our savior, the shepherd, the psychopomp. He is the one who would lead us to the promised land, the life beyond. Heaven? It has many names. Heaven, paradise, nirvana, the promised land. But though the names vary, the concept remains the same. Can you be sure it will be better? Or that there even is a promised land? Even if what lies beyond death is nothing but oblivion, it would still be better than this world. I suppose so. What does the Reaper do? He removes us from the misery of this life and takes us beyond. How? His legion of ravens patrols the skies and searches for the sick and dying. They appear to those who are near death and summon him. Ravens? Yes, ravens with red eyes that refuse to sing. If you see one, it means he is near. I've seen quite a few of them, actually. Then consider yourself lucky, Amy. You are not long for this world. What's your reason for worshipping him? I was once a non-believer, but I had an experience many years ago that changed everything. What happened? I saw him, and I lived. At first I didn't know why, but in time I came to understand. I was chosen. It became my duty to spread his word. Death is coming for us all. We must embrace it rather than fear it. Does that mean you're a suicide cult? I asked you not to use that word. Right, sorry. And no, we are not. To die by our own hands would disrupt the Reaper's pattern. We all have our allotted times, and expediting those would anger him. So we wait and comfort each other in our last days. Do you know where I can find the Reaper? Your time will come. Just be patient. No, you don't understand. I've already seen him. I need to find him again. You've seen him? Yes, a few weeks ago. 
Did he speak to you? He did. He said he was going to ease my pain. And yet, here you are. When I saw him, I was fighting for my life. It took me three weeks just to stand again. I didn't want to die. Now, I don't know. I just want to see my friends and family again. I'm sorry you've been through so much. You need to find out why you were robbed of your passage to the Promised Land. You need to have the vision. The what? It's a ritual we have for those who seek communion with the Reaper. It will allow you to speak to him and ask whatever questions you want. Go through that door there. It will lead you to a courtyard. Sit on the bench. Underneath it, you will find a decanter. Drink from it. You will soon go into a deep trance. If you are lucky, he will come to you. That's all I wanted to know about the Reaper for now. Very well. So, why is there a plane sticking out of this church? The story goes that on the day the world ended, there was an airplane flying overhead that got caught in the blast. It ended up crashing into this cathedral, killing all those on board as well as everyone inside the building. That's awful. Is it? They were spared the misery of the world after the catastrophe. I rather envy them, to be honest. Have a good day. May death come to you swiftly, fellow seeker. She looks lost in thought. Hi there, I'm Amy. I'm new here. I thought so. Welcome into the Reaper's Embrace, Amy. I'm Ellie. What brought you to join the Acolytes? When my family found out I had green lung, they kicked me out. I wasn't angry at them, but I felt so alone. I hated the idea of dying with so many things left unfinished. But then Jess found me and took me in. She told me the word of the Reaper. I was so happy to learn that I could find a better life after death, that this was only one step in a larger plan. It's so much better to die happy and among friends than alone with no guidance. Have you seen your family again? My mother saw me preaching in the market once and ran away. They don't understand. But it's their choice not to. I have all the family I need here. Have you had a chance to speak with the Reaper? I haven't had the vision yet, no. My time will come. I'm going to go now. We'll talk later. Have a blessed day. May death come for you swiftly. That does not look good. Are you enjoying yourself? Yes, but... I had some questions for you. I'll be happy to answer them. So, what is it you do in here? We wait for our appointed times, when the Reaper will appear to us and guide us through the ether to the Promised Land. Every one of us has an expiration date, if you will. We gather here and hope that ours will be this very day. When one of us does pass on, we celebrate them and ask the Reaper to consider us for the next journey. In the meantime, we enjoy each other's company and express our adoration for the Reaper and his grim task. Is there a reason everyone wears a top hat? As a sign of reverence and respect. Our leader has described the figure of the Reaper to us many times. He wears a tall black hat and long robes. You must have noticed the symbol we have adopted to represent him incorporates the image of the hat. I did notice that, yes. By wearing these hats, we feel a closeness, a kinship with him. How come Jess doesn't wear one? She chooses not to. Her reasons are her own. Can anyone join your group if they want to? Yes. Anyone who is prepared to face and accept the inevitable is welcome to join us. How do you know when people are ready? The sincerity of wanting to die can't be easily faked. When I first spoke with you, you clearly weren't ready. It was easy to tell when you were. Isn't it possible to misjudge? Of course. But most people who aren't truly ready to die don't normally stay in the flock for very long. It has happened before, and it's a pity to lose them, but hopefully they will return someday. What brought you into the flock? 
I was looking for solace. Last year, I lost my entire family to Green Lung. I was devastated. And one day, I was walking through the market district and, like you, happened to speak to a fellow acolyte. She told me about the Reaper, how we shouldn't fear death, and my eyes were opened. Rather than mourn my family, I should be happy for them. After all, isn't there no better reward than to be taken from this miserable world to some place better? They have known the Reaper and seen his benevolence. All I can do is hope for the same. My former life has no meaning. My future lies in the next world, and the Reaper will take me there when the time comes, so I may be with my loved ones again. Does that answer your question? I... yes. I think it does. I think you will find that many of my brothers and sisters joined for similar reasons. Have you experienced the vision? I attempted to, yes, but the Reaper did not see fit to grace me with his presence. Admittedly, I was a bit disappointed, but I plan to try again soon. I know he will speak to me when the time is right. I'll speak to you later. I look forward to it. Excuse me? Yes? How come you don't wear a hat like everyone else? When I saw the Reaper, the encounter left me feeling terrified. My hair turned white, seemingly overnight. When I began spreading the word, I decided to use my hair as a symbol of my encounter, as proof that what I saw was real. To cover it up with a hat would be a disservice to his legacy. Have a good day. May death come to you swiftly, fellow seeker. I'm so glad Gus and Pop aren't here to see this. Yeah. Oh, my head is swimming. What was in that decanter? Amy. That sounded like... Clem? You've sure had a hell of a time, huh, Amy? How are you holding up? You know what you have to do now, right? I don't know. I'm just ready to give up. Don't do that just yet. I can help you. Follow me. I know that face from somewhere. Are we here, Clem? I thought the whole point of this was to talk to the Reaper. You've got some jumbled thoughts going around your head. You need to get those sorted out. How am I supposed to do that? There's some folks who will help you with that. Hey, Amy. Denby. Hello again, Wellard. Oh, God, not you again. Hey, kiddo. Dad. Each of them is here to help you put your thoughts together. I'll just leave you to it. See you soon, Amy. I thought I killed you. Indeed. And I almost killed you. Luckily for me, that moment lives on in your memory. Let's go revisit it, shall we? You know, I thought you were done for after our little... disagreement. And then when the Reaper swooped in... Pure poetry. What was it he said to you, anyway? I'm dying to know. He said he could ease my pain. Oh, is that all? No. No, he said something else, just as I was blacking out. That's right, he did. What was it? I can't remember. Can't remember or don't want to remember. Mental blocks sure are problematic, aren't they? You're in my way. Yes, that's the nature of mental blocks. What are you going to do about it? Oh. 
I'm really sick of you. Relax. I've come to ease your pain. I'm a doctor. A uh, doctor? Very good, Eddie. Now jump. jump. Denby, I'm so sorry. I wish I got to you in time. You didn't deserve this. Hey, don't apologize. It's not your fault. There's something I need to show you. Come with me. What's going on? You know how you've been seeing all those ravens? Yes, something has been bothering me about them. So think about it. What exactly is it about them that's bothering you? A raven with red eyes. This is like the one that helped me escape Rockwall. Hang on, I didn't realize just how crazy that sounds. How could a bird help someone escape from jail? I don't know. Seems kind of weird to me, too. It's just a regular raven, like the ones I saw at Fripp Square and Pop's Farm. All they do is wait to eat things and make noise. Sure, that's what ravens do, isn't it? It doesn't make sense. The ravens I've been seeing with the red eyes. I've never seen another living thing with eyes that glow like that. What sort of things have you seen that do? Shards, electric lights, artificial things. That's right. So that means these ravens aren't real? Makes sense to me. But they fly, and they clearly understand commands. Whoops. Of course. They're mechanical. But if that's the case, who's controlling them? Excellent question. You'll find an answer, I'm sure. You should head back. Don't forget what we talked about. I, I won't. Goodbye, Denby. I miss you. Miss you too, Amy. Take care of yourself. Dad, it's great to see you again. Great to see you too, kiddo. How have you been? I've been better. How come you never told me you were a rebel? Becoming a rebel was my choice to make. I wanted you to live as carefree as possible. The less you knew, the more time you could spend playing with your friends. Being a kid. I... I think I understand. Now come on. We've got work to do. Right. Let's get back to work. It's been way too long. It's so close to being done, and yet so far. Hey, the old girl's looking almost finished. You've done a great job restoring her, kiddo. Thanks. It hasn't been easy. We sure had some great times working on her, didn't we? Okay, let's get to work. Ah, crap, I completely forgot. Gordon brought that fan in before. Said it was giving him trouble. I'll take care of it. Shouldn't be more than a couple minutes. That's my girl. Let's see here. There, kid stuff. Good going, kiddo. Now we can focus on the car. Right. Now we can get started. Well, wouldn't you just know it? If it's not one thing, it's another. Nelson's pump was always giving me problems. I'll, I'll take care of it. Right. This shouldn't take too long. Done. No sweat. Nice one. Finally, we can get started. Have you been able to find the missing parts? Daddy, I'm so sorry. I wanted to finish fixing it. I, I wanted to have something to remember you by. But I've been so busy running the shop and then I got sick and... 
I don't think I'm going to live long enough to be able to do it. Hey, now, none of that. It's all right. You've been dealt a horrible hand. Worse than most. And you've been so strong through it all. An old car isn't worth your life, kiddo. I just feel like I'm failing you. I'm so sorry. Failing me? Amelia Grace Wellard, you stop that nonsense right now. You've already done more with the Rebels than I ever did. It's gonna change the world. You've got too much left to live for. Too many people depend on you. You can't give up here. Okay, I, I know you're right. I think I just needed to hear someone say it. Thank you, Daddy. I'm your dad. That's what I do. It was great seeing you again. I love you. Love you too, sweetheart. Get everything sorted? I think so, yes. Great. Time to send you back. Thanks for all your help, Clem. I'm sorry about... Don't you worry about that, Amy. I went out helping the Rebels. Couldn't have asked for much more than that. Now you get yourself back, and you do your part. I know everything will turn out fine. intense, but I only have more questions. I've got to find the Reaper. Only he has the answers. Wait a minute. Where did you come from? Okay, you've obviously brought me something. Let's have it. Empty. Good riddance. That stuff was foul. It's pretty, but also kind of scary. Nice. I bet it was even prettier when it was operational. I don't need to go- Welcome back. I hope you were successful in your communion with the Reaper. 